175 years on and the Fermanagh County Show is still going strong. We're here to see the best of the county's livestock, poultry and local food produce. Mix them with a few sheep shearing and dog shows. If there's something you want to know about farming, then this is the place to be. Former County Show Secretary Ann Orr says it's the farmer's passion that keeps the show returning each year. They've got a real passion for their product or their, uh, their breed or whatever it is in the food hall. We have such a passion for the food to produce. We had the food hall opening last night and all the exhibitors over there are passionate about the local produce. Today we have uh, the exhibitors here of the cattle and sheep. Today we are uh, privileged to have the National Hereford Show. And for the first time in many years, we've actually got 51 Herefords here in Fermanagh. So we're delighted about that. Everybody comes to Fermanagh show. It's a one-off. It's the first week in August. And I think it's a really special place. We have people here from all over Ireland. We have uh, lots of competitions and activities, indoors and outdoors, for whole, the whole family. Judges from across the UK and Ireland attended the show and were extremely impressed by the standard of cattle on display. The standard out through everywhere is good and the dairy industry has been taking a knock in the past, but uh, they forget the production that these dairy cows have and people complain about them, but we're going for stature, some strength, and be able to walk freely in their feet and legs. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and the Irish showing the usual hospitality, um, looking after everybody in the, very well, and from what I've seen of the show, it's been a very high standard and the cattle look to be a very high standard. Agricultural Minister Michelle Gildrenew helped launch a new endangered species leaflet at the Dard Stand. The marsh fertility is a butterfly that is unique to the Fermanagh countryside, but in recent years biodiversity experts have noticed a decline in numbers. This show in particular, we're launching the new leaflet informing and educating farmers about the marsh fertility, a butterfly that was commonplace a few decades ago and now is on the verge of extinction. Some of the things that I took for granted as a child, like hearing a cuckoo, um, was I don't hear it anymore. Some of the things my parents grew up being used to, my mother used to complain about corn creeks keeping her awake at night and, and look where we are now. So it's amazing how one generation can make such a difference. My kids haven't heard a cuckoo. I grew up with this butterfly, I want them to know it as well. And also that we can work together to enhance the biodiversity for, for generations to come. I think it's a, a terrible indictment on us if species like the marsh fritillary are disappearing and we don't take action to stop it from happening. And like I say, because of its importance to the overall biodiversity picture, we need to, to do what we can to protect it. 